Y'all, y'all love these pervert glasses. Okay? I love, everywhere I go, y'all love these damn pervert glasses. I'm like, if y'all only knew. But anyway, guys, that's enough talking about that. Let's talk about this. Hey, guys. Hey, this is Nay. Follow me on IG, Periscope, Twitter, Spreaker. And support me on Patreon at Nay Rob on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment. Oh, the boobs. Child, I can't wait to get a reduction. I'm getting a reduction. I don't care what my wife say. I'm getting a goddamn reduction. Comment respectfully and subscribe. Now, let's talk about the bullshit ticking, okay? So, um, y'all know I'm over, just like everybody else is, the Queen's Court gag order uh, situation, right? I think... Everybody is so spent about how ugly this has gotten that people with sense don't even want to be connected to it. You know what I'm saying? You all have turned this from a cash cow to a real East Coast, West Coast beef. I'm just like, didn't that beef shit stop with Tupac and Biggie? Now it's Team Kaya versus Team Maddie. I did, it absolutely ridiculous how these people... Uh, absorbing this and you know let me tell you the funny part about this right and I'm gonna get to my commentary in one second the reason why I stopped defending Maddie is because along the way I was seeing little things that she was doing that didn't make sense and Kaya too because they both are so delusional in how they like, well, at least I don't do blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I never do this. I'm not thinking about them. I'm not checking for them. But yet and still, you know what the information is. So now both of them are starting to look ridiculous to me that now I'm like, well, damn, I didn't know that about both of them. Well, damn. And I'm seeing like uh, little videos and, you know, because I upload the videos because, again, it is a cash cow and I'm going to get all my guap. But um, what's funny to me is that they'll say, they'll make videos and they'll be like, I don't do this, I don't do that, I've been silent all this time, blah, 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 well, I ain't say nothing about nobody. And I'm like, Joe, you do say stuff. You, you have said stuff. And that's for both of them. So both, of the, both parties are wrong. Both parties are right and both parties are wrong. So I don't have an opinion on what the fuck they do outside of their, that particular um, video, period, right? Because I'm, I'm not going to look like a fool and be Team Maddie and Team Kaya, and then when it all come out, some foul shit didn't really happen behind the scenes, and now you're standing there with egg on your face because you, you didn't defend somebody that was delusional about what their part was in the whole fiasco. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, let's do this. I'm here because... Um, y'all know last week I had, um, did a comparison between the gag order and the Queen Supreme Court with Shekana and Lil Mo, right? And, um, yeah, Shekana and Lil Mo. And I said, you know, being fair, I said, although Maddie had bells and whistles, um, Kaya won last week. She was absolutely funny. It was, it was funny to, you know, I laughed. I got a couple of chuckles off of it. Shekinah, on the other hand, Shekinah and um, Lil Mo there. I don't know. It was, it was. I don't know. Lil Mo dragged it down, and Shekinah talked over Maddie way too much. That was, that was annoying to me. It could work, but they would have to work on Shekinah's timing and knowing when to speak and when to shut the fuck up, and knowing how to like they. It seemed like they would have to even rehearse some shit for um, Shekinah to make you know for it to rush. So we know now, we found out last night that um, Tiffany Pollard, I Love New York, is going to be replacing, is going to be replacing, um, no, let me not even say replacing, that um, Tiffany Pollard is going to be the second seat, right? Because I don't want to think about nobody replacing Kaya because... Kaya is the originator of the Queen's Court. And some people just can't be replaced. I'm just saying that she's taking the second seat on the Queen's Supreme Court. So um, let me tell you why this is a good thing for Maddie. It's an absolute good thing because Tiffany Pollard, 
may not have that sharp tongue the way that Kaya has, but she's tough. Okay, she's very, very, very tough. And being one of the original reality TV stars, the queen of reality TV, because that's what she is, even though people don't like to give her um, props for it, but um, she she's tough. She's been through a lot. She's had, you know, some, some really uh, embarrassing moments in reality TV. Um, yeah, like, I, it, she she has really done some things in reality TV, you know, and I'm actually disappointed that she didn't get as big as I would like her to. I mean, I would say Her and Delicious off of the Flavor of Love franchise, that um, those two are the most successful, right? And um, I think the only reason why Delicious is more successful is because she's light-skinned, I'm just being honest, and she blew her butt up enormously, okay? But um, she is tough. She is celebrity-associated. You know, she may not have... Um, she may not have uh, rubbed shoulders with the A people, you know, the A celebrities. But when you think about it, the A celebrities are never going to be in Queens Court. You're not going to hear about Will Smith. Well, I don't know. But the A celebrities, they don't really be bothered with the bullshit. You know, they don't really, you don't hear them quite often the way that you would hear like the B or C or D celebrities, right? So, but she she has affiliations. She's hanging around there. Like the other day when she was, uh, last night when she said she met Hugh Hefner, I was like, okay, that's impressionable. She was like, she was in um, a fashion show with him. I said, okay, Tiffany Palmer, okay. So she does kind of under, and then she already knows the, how to put on a show. We know that, <coughs> excuse me, if anybody's going to give us a show, I Love New York is going to give us a show. And although I didn't laugh as much as I would have liked to laugh, I was still very entertained. I was definitely like, that goddamn I love New York. She is tough. She's a celebrity associated slash affiliated. Um, she's open sexually. And she'll say anything out of her mouth for shock value. You know, like anything. So she kind of has the Kaya Zhuzh but in a Tiffany Pollard, Pollard way. And we know that Tiffany is not trying to copy Kaya and trying to be what Kaya used to be on the show because she has always been I Love New York. Extra. Um, amazingly delusional. Amazingly delusional in her um, status, which is still a good thing to her because she, um, you know, she's like, I'm the baddest bitch. Keep thinking that way. Keep thinking that way about yourself. Because um, if you don't, nobody else will. You know, if you say Mike Jones 13 times, you're going to wake up in the morning singing Mike Jones. You know, that's... If I keep saying I'm the baddest bitch, eventually you're going to say, oh yeah, Nay is the baddest bitch. But child, you know I ain't going to say that bullshit. I, I, don't, I don't think that way about myself. I'm just trying to be nice, decent, humble, good, and live my life and retire and, and just and just be happy. That's all I'm trying to do. But anyway, enough talking about that. So um, what I felt about their dynamic on the show, I felt like um, they can work well because they both are extra. They both have it in them to garner someone's attention. You know, I think they both are funny, you know, and I think Tiffany uh, can be funny without maliciousness. Kaya, on the other hand, is is hilarious with maliciousness, you know? And um, only thing about Tiffany that I would like, or uh, um, I Love New York, is for her to learn their rhythm. They need to still work on their rhythm so that they're not over-talking, um, they're not... Um, they know how to play each other and read each other well. Even though I've heard that they've worked together before, Maddie and uh, Tiffany worked together before and it worked for them. That's why they ended up joining um, the, that's why they ended up doing this. And Maddie did a great job. She did an absolutely great job. She knows what Tiffany Pollard brings to the fucking table. She brings that reality TV, TV show fandom 
and she also brings in character. You see what I'm saying? And I don't think she's going to have the same problem. Not my, Matter of fact, not I think. I know she's not going to have the same problems with people um, bashing her because she is with someone, speaking of Kaya, who does not know how to uh, tone it down a little bit. You know, it's, it's, it's a dangerous thing when you are so reckless out the mouth and you walk around freely, you know, like you, you have to, at some point say, Ooh, that's a bit too much. You have to, at some point when you're calling a man's out, a man's sexuality out, and you're talking about who he's sleeping with in the bed. And some of these men are uber masculine. You have to kind of think, ah, you know, like, uh, maybe 50 Cent, like last week when she called out 50 Cent for maybe getting his toes tickled by a man, I, maybe 50 Cent missed it. Maybe he like, I'm not getting involved with that uh, female bullshit. That might be what he said. But my thing is, um, you eventually have to come face to face with the people that you talk about. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, when, did I say already that Tiffany was in our building, was in our condo? But... I could have been one of those people, you know? So eventually you're going to come face to face with your enemy. You dig? One of those people that you calling kazoos and all them other things, you're going to come face to face with those people. So now let's talk about, um, 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 Kaya. One thing that I will never get over when it comes down to Kaya is she uses homo phobic term not homo I don't know if you can even call but she used gay terms in situations where you don't even have to like you're not even mad at nobody why are you using the word gazoo why are you why are you doing that and why do you keep like you know who used to do that Corinne Stephens she did it so much where she called every man a gazoo that she discredited herself. Every time she was mad at some man for doing something to her or not doing something for her, first thing she hollered was, he's gay or his butthole was blown out or something like that. That's the first thing she did. So now what's what's scary about it is that you have these drones and she got the nerve to call um 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 who is that? Oh, Shekinah Joe a pawn or a do girl but you had kaya has these drones out here that literally would fight for her that's like uh sis you need me to come down there you calling somebody sis and you don't even know them you know what i'm saying like i call people who sit here on youtube because they're a part of my class here we've gr we're growing in the youtube industry you know what i'm saying so they are my sis that's why i call we are youtube sisters like s underscore hutchison layla lynn um who else do i call those are really the only ones oh um malika she i would say she she just started she started after me but it's certain people here that i call sis but it's just dangerous to me how kaya can be so reckless out of the mouth and there's people there waiting for her to say something like speak master speak that's that's scary to me y'all need to be your own person you know i i i'm i'm just ashamed of how all this happened but anyway um kaya had some people on the docket and she was she was funny i didn't laugh as much as i laughed um last time uh <clears throat> last monday but she was funny <clears throat> But when it comes down to who I choose for last night's docket, I would choose T.S. and um, T.S. Madison and Tiffany Pollard for this week, right? Or for for the gag order versus the Queen Supreme Court. I choose the Queen Supreme Court this time because it was more entertaining. Um, we're not going to fake. The bells and whistles are there. I'm upset with Maddie that it had to take her so fast freaking long to get it together i don't understand why did it take you so long to do what you should have been done like the lighting was perfect the sound was perfect they both look fucking beautiful um you know remember when they used to put up the the pieces of paper and put it towards the screen that's the same thing kaya's doing kaya i'm sorry you need to step up i know you don't want to spend no money on nothing and that's been working for a long time but even here on youtube 
If you don't get with the freaking program, people will stop watching you. Like, I don't want to do lives, y'all. I really don't want to do lives. But I'm going to have to end up doing lives because that's what's taking over. I hate lives, you know. But the fact of the matter is when you do lives, people super chat. You know, that's extra money that I could get. Y'all know I'm retired, so the only income that I'm getting right now until I collect on that fat pension when I get um, later on in my age is... YouTube, my swan bangles, and, um, you know, whatever allowance my wife gives me, you know? So, I, I don't mind doing the super chat, but I don't, or I'm doing live, I, I don't like doing lives, but I know eventually I'm going to have to do them. Let me just say that. Or eventually I'm going to have to start doing them, you know? And that's why I'm saying with um, Kaya, you're going to have to come forward because Supreme Court got it all together. I mean, all the way together, you know? People don't want to see you putting a piece of paper up in front of the damn screen like, you know, people don't want to see this shit right here. You see, people don't want to see that. That was, that was, that, people don't want to see that. People want you to be new and fucking improved. That's why you see YouTubers all the time changing all the time so that you can compete. But... Child, so if I I didn't went all the way around the board to tell you, look, this is what um I'm I'm choosing the Queen Supreme Court for this time, guys. And remember this: the same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my patron loves. Have a good one. Deuce.